Hey guys, sorry, weird camera angle, but today we are going to take a look and review. I've talked about it on my channel, I think a couple other times, but my preferred way to conceal carry. And I can conceal carry in two methods, um, and we're only going to talk about one of those methods today. Um, and that method is what's called a belly band. And first off, um, I am carrying uh, you would probably call strong side um, inside the waistband. I am wearing kind of a puffy vest which I'll take off. Okay. So, am I left handed? Am I right handed? Am I carrying small of the back? Am I carrying appendix? Okay. Um, I, I just wanted to illustrate that this combination that I'm carrying conceals excellent. There's tons of videos out there. Yeah, this holster works awesome. I barely print. But like I said, um, I'll raise my hands up. As you can see right here, I'm not wearing a belt. So, how am I wearing a holster? That's the reason I like this belly band. So let's take a look at it. This is that belly band right here. My shirt can pretty much... Okay, you can't see the gun. Um, even like that. I don't know, can you guys see it? Something I found out concealed carrying is the more bulky a holster is, not only does it print more, which is the most common thing, but what people don't talk about is just in, you know... We're talking about really small measurements here. The more it protrudes, the higher and higher likelihood that your shirt, you're moving, you're lifting something up, and your shirt catches. Your shirt catches. With this, it's pretty hard to even induce your shirt getting caught on this because there's not much for the shirt to catch on. Okay? That's why I like it. It's really sleek. It's made by um, Undertech, Undercover. It's their original belly band. <clears throat> I think I, I got it on sale for about $20. Um, the reason I chose this brand is because they also make shirts, um, concealed carry shirts that are kind of like a shoulder holster, which I use also. But, and, and when I'm using this belly band, this is the position I carry. Small the back, I can't do anything back here because of uh, chronic back problems. I can go to I can go to about there maybe a little more right maybe over this patch that's about it um, the problem I run to into is when driving in a car that pressure against my kidneys um, and I like I said I already have chronic back problems it just doesn't work out for me so I tend to carry it right in line kind of right in line with this seam so it's like I'm going into my pocket okay um, it's pretty easy to draw this out and present it and do what you gotta do um, reholstering it it's pretty easy I mean it's maybe a little bit harder than a uh, kydex okay uh, so let's talk about comfort real quick comfort <clears throat> Even somebody not used to concealed carrying within 20 minutes, maybe even less than that, you forget it does not feel like a foreign object. It blends with your body. Um, again, like they say, holsters are body dependent. I believe that this can work for anybody. I've had multiple people wear this. I know multiple people with multiple body shapes that wear these belly bands, and it works for everybody. So in my opinion, it's kind of one of the most universal holsters, one of the most comfortable. So that means you're more likely to conceal carry. And the other thing I like about it, which I'll just take off, um, is first, it's really easy to get on and off. You're not dealing with any belts. Um, you, it's not belt dependent. I wear this all the time with basketball shorts, with gym, um, with gym clothes, with gym uh, shorts and sweats. Um, it stays in there pretty well. It's loose, as you can see, but when this is stretched tight, um, and next to your body, it's 
is very secure. You know, I, I, I work a fairly active job and it's never slipped out. So don't hit me with that excuse. There's not enough retention. Uh, yeah, yeah. So it's, um, it's, uh, what, what would they call that? Ambidextrous. Um, there's another slot if you're left-handed and then there's a slot in the back, which I think this is one area. I'm going to take the gun out real quick and, um, it is loaded. Um, <clears throat> so one problem is, so you're wearing it like this. Okay. Um, this is directly next to your spine and there's a slot in there to hold a spare magazine. I've never used that slot before. And like I said, I tried it one time right, right when I put it in there, test, I was just testing it out at home. Oh, like right after I pulled out of the package, probably, I don't know how long I've had this for five months. Um, and I sat down is <laughs> instant pressure right next to your spine in a fight or just in your day to day life. If you're to fall and land on your tailbone, on your back, whatever, that would be disastrous. Um, you got small contact point of a magazine, literally right in line with your spine. That's a disaster waiting to happen. <clears throat> um, but with that being said, um, you can use that to fit a passport or cash or your cell phone. Like I said, sometimes I'm wearing this with basketball shorts or sweats and say I'm running and I want my cell phone with me and I want my wallet and stuff like that. But when it's in your pockets, it's going back and forth and it's annoying. You got, you stick it in here, it's tight next to your body. Um, it's under compression and it, it doesn't slide out. So, um, and like wallets and stuff like that, they're pretty slim. And if you were to fall, I don't, at least to me, it did not cause discomfort, back discomfort. Um, the price on this, I think it's an awesome value. I picked up for $20. You know, there's tons of them on Amazon. It's kind of hard to pick. I chose this brand, like I said, because it was maybe a couple dollars more than the really cheap ones, but it came from a pretty reputable, well-established company, uh, Undertech Undercover. Um, and then I also own a couple of their shirts, which I wear also. So I just wanted all from the same brand. I cycle them in and out. The elastic is very strong. Uh, I will say, and it's a good thing I remember this. So I got size medium and it, it states it covers from size 32 to 36 pant size. And the pants I'm wearing right now are 34s um, with a little bit of stretch with a little bit of elastic in them. And so I'm roughly a 34 inch waist and this fits perfect. So their sizing is accurate, um, but overall awesome value, universal fit. Um, I'm not gonna pull other pistols out, but um, I put other Glocks I carry the Glock 43, but um, full size Glocks, Springfield XD, Smith & Wesson MPs, Shields, um, Smith & Wesson uh, 642s, like small J frames, um, Ruger SP 101s, Ruger, you know, SP 100s, um, kind of medium sized revolvers. Uh, one thing I want to talk about too is really small guns like the Ruger LCP, the Smith & Wesson Bodyguard 380 and stuff like that, really small pocket pistols. They do fit in this, but you do, you can kind of lose them in the pocket and um, it makes it harder to like draw and stuff like that. So they do fit just fine. So that means they can seal a lot better, but they are a little bit harder to draw. But overall, that was a quick review of the Undertech Undercover Made in the USA uh, belly band. If you're in the market for a belly band, I take a look at this one because it's inexpensive, but it's really good quality. Um, like always, if you like this video um, and you're not subscribed yet, feel free to go back to my homepage, watch some of my recent videos. If you like what you see, feel free to subscribe. Um, to all my current subscribers, I appreciate you for your support, um, for you watching my videos, um, for your helpful comments. If you like this video, feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment if you have this product or if you have any questions about it, I'll try and answer them in the comments below. But that's all for today. We'll catch you on the next video.